like to beat him up in every aspect of MMA. That's what my goal is. I'd like to outstrike him, outclench him. I will beat him up. If he tries to pull guard on me, I'm gonna get back to my feet and put fists in his face so he's not thinking about jujitsu. If he wants to stand with me, you know, let's do it. Uh, tonight, I don't see myself losing this fight. He's gonna try to take me down, just lay on me. You know, if I get down there, I gotta get back up or, you know, take him down, beat him up on the ground. This fight tonight is one of the most important fights in my career. I want the world to see that I am one of the biggest forces in the heavyweight division. Between the Ultimate Fighter Season 1 middleweight winner, Diego the Dream Sanchez, and Jim Miller. Jim Miller, set to enter the world-famous octagon once again. Jim Miller is one of the toughest guys in the game. He's got a black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and a solid wrestling base. We saw him catch Dwayne Ludwig with that beautiful armbar at UFC 108, and he can end a fight quickly if he gets it to the ground. Jim Miller, fired up and ready to go. Sanchez making his way to the world famous octagon. Diego Sanchez is a longtime UFC veteran since his appearance on the very first Ultimate Fighter. He's known for his aggressive attacks, great wrestling skills, and vicious ground and pound. Diego Sanchez ready to throw down and put on a show. Our Tale of the Tape is brought to you by UFC Store. The sport lives here. And now with the official introductions of our fighters, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist. He stands five feet, eight inches tall. Weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Whippany, New Jersey, Jim Miller! And now, fighting out of the red corner, this man is a mixed martial artist. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of San Diego, California. He is a winner of the Ultimate Fighter. Diego, the Dream, Sanchez. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Herb Dean. Herb Dean is our referee. Mike Goldberg alongside my partner Joe Rogan. Round one is about to, to begin. Are you Jim ready? Miller, Diego Sanchez. Round one on, is underway. Go. Joe, the Diego Sanchez Kenny Florian fight on the Ultimate Finale Season One uh, was one in which Diego was able to dominate. He was bigger, he was stronger. He took Kenny down and he beat him up. Yeah, he was far too big, far too strong for Kenny Florian in that fight, especially that version of Kenny Florian. Kenny has improved in leaps and bounds since that fight as well. But at that and in that juncture, Diego Sanchez is just too much for him. He's got the clinch. Nice dirty boxing. Oh, nice body shots. He's really landing those short punches inside, Mike. Oh, looping hook there. Oh, the slip in the counter. Again teeing off. Wow, that right hand. He's got the takedown. Passes to half guard. He's got them out. Full mount. This is not good. Oh! He's got the arm triangle. Trying to remain patient. Wow, 
Wow, great oh, job done escapes. defensively. And he passes. Side control. Half guard. Under 90 seconds remains in the first of three five-minute rounds. He's looking for a Kimura. Trying to remain calm, see if he can break out of this. Oh, he escapes. Very nice. Good defense. He's in the guard now. Pushes him off of the feet. Nice body shot and then hook combination. Boom! Great body kicks. Beautiful hook. Round one is in the books. A superb display of mixed martial arts skills from both fighters. Yeah, these are two. Hey, that's close. You don't sit there and judge it, all right? You go out there and just keep fighting hard. This is your time. All right, let's go to the replay, Mike. Here we see the... Find those punches. Hey, and find the knees right after. Get to the body some too, okay? There's the beautiful Ariani as we get set for round two. Are you ready to fight? Are you ready? Here we go, round two. Come on, let's do it. Nice body kick. Oh, beautiful hook. Duck cover and the uppercut scores. Big right hand. Nice left hook. Sanchez is cut open here, Mike. Sanchez keeps getting tagged on that cut. He is bleeding bad, Mike. And again. He loves throwing that punch. Good takedown defense. What an exchange here. Oh, they're just throwing. Oh, they're exchanging here. Close range here, Joe. Brutal knees. And again. Oh, big kick. Three minutes remains in the second round. This and one another. is getting ugly. Oh, nice left and a right. Outstanding takedowns. He's looking for an Omoplata. I don't think it's tight. He got out. And he escapes. Passes to half guard. And into full mount. Trying to punish the midsection. Oh, oh, he's rocked. Oh, he's got an arm bar. Trying to pry those hands loose. His opponent's using real good defense here. That is a tight, tight arm bar. Diego Sanchez with the victory! Joe, once he went for that arm, he was not going to let go until the submission came. Yeah, beautiful technique. Here you see he's got the arm isolated. He pushes with his leg, straightens that arm out, and his opponent is forced to tap. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, two seconds of the second round. Declaring Le Gagnon and the winner by tap out due to an armbar, Diego the Dream Sanchez. Diego Sanchez. Next, a light heavyweight showdown between Ultimate Fighter winner Ryan Bader and the two-time U.S. Olympian, Dan Henderson.
Dan Henderson. Set to enter the octagon and listen to the crowd. They love this guy. Dan Henderson is as dangerous opponent as you could face. An Olympic level wrestler with knockout power in both hands. He also has been competing at a championship level in this sport since 1999. Dan Henderson ready to throw down and put on a big show for this capacity crowd. Ryan Bader making his way to the world famous octagon. Ryan Bader is an extremely talented pure wrestler. Since he won season eight of the Ultimate Fighter, he's improved his striking dramatically and he's got a lot of knockout power in those hands of his. Ryan Bader, ready to throw down and put on a show. Our Tale of the Tape is brought to you by Edge Shape Gel. Get your edge. We are now set for the official introductions, and with that, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC Light Heavyweight Division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist. He stands six feet, one inch tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Temecula, California. This man is a former welterweight, middleweight, and Grand Prix champion of pride. Dan Hendo! And now, fighting out of the red corner, this man is a wrestler. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Tepe, Arizona, he is a winner of the ultimate fighter, Ryan Darth Vader. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Josh Rosenthal. Josh Rosenthal, our referee. Mike Goldberg alongside Joe Rogan. We are ready to Gentlemen, get things started. Ready? Dan Henderson, ready? Ryan Bader. And here we go. Let's fight. Oh, big spinning back fist. Oh, nice counter left hook right there. right hand oh big head kick nice body shot and then hook combination he's got, he's got him down. a takedown moves to half guard full mount postured up big right hand wow that right hand Nice right hand. Boom! Under three minutes now. All right, guys, clean break. Clean break. This is pretty much a stalemate. Yeah. Referee's going to stand him up. Here we go. Beautiful head kick there, and good right hand counter. Two minutes, two Fast minutes. hands, good battle inside. The clinch. Man, that knee landed heavy. Under 90 seconds remains in round one. Look at the battle for control here. Pressuring his opponent up against the fence here. And now he's answered. Just about. He's hurt badly. He's down. He ate that one. It is all over. Wow. Man. That was nasty. Dan Henderson with the victory.
and that's the beginning of the end. Gets on top of him and swarms on him. Watch it again. And here's how he finishes him off. Just picture perfect ground and pound from the side. Here's Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Josh Rosenthal has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 10 seconds of the very first round, declaring La Gagnon and the winner by TKO, Dan Hendo. Henderson, the winner here tonight. Up next, it's an interim heavyweight title fight between Junior Dos Santos and dangerous ground and pounder Kane Velasquez. Kane Velasquez set to enter the octagon and attempt to capture the belt. Cain Velasquez started out as a wrestler and has become one of the most intimidating heavyweight strikers in UFC history. He throws very accurate, extremely powerful punches, whether he's standing or using his ground and pound. Cain Velasquez, ready to throw down and take home the title. Junior Dos Santos making his way to the octagon, ready to defend his UFC title. Junior Dos Santos is a very dangerous striker. He's got precision punches with knockout power behind them. He has been putting top-level guys to sleep since he came to the UFC. Junior Dos Santos fired up and ready to show why he is the champion. Tale of the Tape is brought to you by Edge Shape Gel. Get your edge. Once again, with our official introductions for this battle, the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. And now, five rounds for the UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler and a kickboxer. He stands six feet, one inch tall, weighing in at 240 pounds. Fighting in the San Jose, California. He is the former UFC heavyweight champion, Kane Velasquez. And now, fighting out of the red corner, this man is a boxer and jiu-jitsu fighter. He stands six feet, three inches tall. Weighing in at 235 pounds. Fighting at El Salvador, Bahia, Brazil. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the current UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Junior Segado de Santos. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Herb Dean. Gentlemen, this is for the championship. You've been given your instructions in your dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. Hi again, everybody. Mike Goldberg alongside Joe Rogan. And we are ready for round one. Are you ready to fight? Are you Kane ready? Kane Velasquez. Junior Dos Santos. And we come are on, underway. Go. If you walk through the doors of American Kickboxing Academy in San Jose and you talk to Dave Camarillo and Crazy Bob Cook, they will tell you they have never seen a man with a greater work ethic than heavyweight Cain Velasquez. And it shows in his fights. The pace that he pushes is almost ridiculous. Like, like the fight that he had with Ben Rothwell. I was watching that fight. I was going, I can't believe that a heavyweight can keep this kind of pace up. Uppercut. hook and an uppercut afterwards oh big kick he shoots he's got the takedown he pushes him off with the feet he lets him up oh but he ain't a left hand left huge uppercut joe 
Nice right hand. He's got the clinch. Nice knee. Oh, a nice Again. body shot. Little dirty boxing. Pressuring his opponent up against the fence here. Guard. Transitions to the full mount. And now goes. Oh, he's hurt. Oh, he's going for an eye bar. Man, the cheers in here are deafening. This crowd is loving this. That is a tight, tight arm bar. Oh, oh, he rolled out of it. Very nice escape. Pushing his opponent away. 45 seconds remains in the first round. Thirty seconds remains in the round. Beautiful uppercut. Both guys staying in tight. And he's got the takedown. And that's the end of round one. What a round! Both men showcasing a wide variety of skills. That was five minutes of beautiful mixed martial arts, Mike. That is what this sport is all about. Hey, look at the score. All you need to do is score. You score with that takedown, you score punch. Let's take a look at the replay from that round, Mike. This was an unbelievable suplex. One quick thing, when you go jail blow, come back with the jab. Don't come back with the hook, he's leaning back. Ariani gets us set for round two. Are you ready to fight? Are you ready? We start round two. Come on, let's this fight scheduled for five, five-minute rounds. They are both staying in tight, close, right in the fire. Sometimes it's better to throw shorter, quicker punches, and that's what we're seeing here tonight. When you put all that effort and energy into a punch and you really wind up, it takes more time to reach the fighter. Both guys banging on the inside, Mike. Countering and scoring big time. Nice right hand. Drags him to the ground. Nicely done. Moves into full mount. He's got the arm triangle. He's pressing down with his weight. Oh, and he's out. Posture's up. Oh! Hands up! And back to mount again. Now able to posture up. That's a huge left hand. Oh, he's even hurt. Oh, he's got an arm bar. Good defense here. He's keeping the hands tight. Did he finish it here? Oh, he rolled out of it. Very nicely done. Let's see what he does from here, Joe. Pushes him off with the feet. He decides to let him up. Just over a minute remains. Again, he takes him down. He's got half guard. He's in full mount here. Able to posture up from full mount. Oh, he's got an arm triangle. Oh, he's got it locked in, Mike. This is pretty tight. Oh, he got out. What a job. And back to full guard. And again, he loves throwing that punch. Two rounds in the books, three rounds to go in this UFC title fight.
Man, they really mixed it up in that round, Joe. Yeah, both these guys are very well-rounded, and they had a chance to show it in there. I need you to circle left and stay aggressive. Get that leg kick going. Get that leg kick going. Let's take a look at the replay, Mike. This was well-timed here. Just a beautiful slip and counter. He sets up to get hands on his face fast. Fast. All right, hard knee. The beautiful Shandella gets us set for round three. Are you ready to fight? Are you ready? And we are set on, for the start it. of round three. This is a championship fight, so it is scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Big right hand. Oh, nice uppercut. Uppercut. Oh, and another. Oh, he rocked him bad here, Mike. Oh, big right hand. He's down. Boom. Oh, he recovers. And the chance begin for Junior Dosan. Okay, he moves into the mount here. What power! Vicious ground and pound! And the knockout finish! We have a new UFC heavyweight champion. Let's take a look at that again. Look at the timing of this hook, Mike. Here we see it again. Instantaneous knockout victory. Here we see it again. Excellent timing on the button. The veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer, has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, two seconds of the third round. Declaring La Gagnon and the winner by knockout. And now, the new... UFC Heavyweight Champion of the World, Kane Velasquez! Kane Velasquez captures the UFC Heavyweight Championship.